Well, hello and welcome back. We're now on subsection 2 Bravo of the Amateur Extra License, that's element 4, and we're going to talk about some TV. And I have here just one that I intercepted on my rig between Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu November, and the Pearson family. So let's go ahead and get started. Question number one says in digital television, what does a coding rate of three-fourths mean? And the correct answer is 25% of the data sent is forward error correction data. And forward error correction data is so that whatever's received is as what's received. How many horizontal lines make up fast scan NTSC television frame? That is 525 lines. And so I have an image of that right here. If we'll go over to images and hit transition, then uh, go to the actual NTSC one, you can see that there are 525 lines. So the next question is, how is an interlay scanning pattern generated in a fast scan NTSC television system? And that is by scanning odd number lines in one field and even number lines in the next. And you can see that again on this image. You see the odd lines are first, then it jumps to the even lines. How is color information sent? in analog SSTV. Color lines are sent sequentially. So they are sent in order and together. Which of the following describes the use of vestigial sideband in analog fast scan TV transmissions? And the answer is vestigial sideband reduces the bandwidth while increasing the fidelity of low frequency video components. And from the M, uh, Ham Radio Academy Amateur Extra, you can see here that part of it is in the lower sideband and the other half or the majority is in the upper sideband. And it covers quite a bit. Look at that bandwidth there. Five and a half, six and a half, almost seven and a quarter megahertz for that one so let's get back vestigial sideband reduces the bandwidth while increasing the fidelity of low frequency video components what is vestigial sideband modulation it is amplitude modulation in which one complete sideband and a portion of the other are transmitted and we just saw that. You get one full part of the sideband and part of the other. What types of modulation are used for amateur television DVB-T signals? And that is QAM and QPSK. And I have a couple of images here. I have, this is QAM right here. And there's four states that it can be in. And then we have a different one. This is a PAL vector. And you can see that there's quite a few others uh, in this one. And they make up some pretty neat little patterns. So that's QAM and QPSK. Which technique allows commercial analog TV receivers to be used for fast scan TV operations on the 70 centimeter band? And the answer is transmitting on channels shared with cable TV. Now, how about that? That that actually threw me for a loop on the test because I was like, what? We're sharing with cable TV? Yes. So we're transmitting on channels shared with cable TV. What kind of receiver can be used to receive and decode SSTV using the Digital Radio Mondial Protocol? And that is single sideband. So SSTV, single sideband, SSB, 
Hopefully you can remember that one by the SSTV and SSB. What aspect of an analog slow scan television signal encodes the brightness of the picture? And that is the tone frequency. So the tone frequency is what is the aspect that encodes the brightness. I do have an image of an SSTV right here on a waterfall. And the red is really, really strong. And anything that's in closer to the blue is, or, or very light, is a very low intensity. And you can see these are low frequencies and high frequencies all mixed together to make that image. SSTV is a really cool mode. You can find those in quite a few places. And SSTV stands for slow scan TV. What is the function of the vertical interval signaling code sent as part of an SSTV transmission? And that is to identify the SSTV mode being used. So this mode is called Robot 36, and there are quite a few different picture modes. Some do black and white and are pretty quick, and then some take longer than others. What signals SSTV receiving software to begin a new picture line? And those are specific tone frequencies. And they would be like, and then it would let that program know, hey, here comes a picture. So SSTV is something that you could definitely dive into and check out and get lost on the web for a long time, uh, just pretty much just looking at pictures themselves. So with that, we'll, we'll bring back the, uh, the picture, I'm your Huckleberry. And so this was a, from a Parks on the Air activation from Kilo Echo 8, Papa Zulu November. He actually did SSTV. And if you want to check it out, you can download MM SSTV. That is the program used to transmit or to encode and decode, transmit and receive SSTV pictures. I'm Robbie W1RCP. Please be sure to subscribe to show your support. 73.